and I'm Mariama Oluwahuje. Welcome to our dance marathon themed episode of Inside Rutgers. In honor of our dance marathon themed episode, we're hosting our show here at Rutgers Dance Marathon 2013. That's right, and we're going to start off our show by checking out the preparation that goes into Dance Marathon. That sounds like a great idea. Let's check that out right now. Rutgers University Dance Marathon is an annual charity event that features a number of organizations involved with the university, all coming together to get down and boogie for 32 hours straight. So Dance Marathon is the largest student-run philanthropic event in New Jersey. So that means that we just spend all year round making a lot of money and then giving it to a local charity in New Brunswick. And we have a 32-hour marathon in the spring. So Dance Marathon has an interesting history. It started in the 1970s with a couple of fraternity brothers, actually. And then they did their marathon for a couple years and it failed. And so we brought it back in 1999. And so this will be the 15th anniversary of the new era of Dance Marathon. I think the concept itself is pretty interesting. I think that asking someone to stand for 32 hours straight, because that's what our dancers do, is preposterous at first to a lot of people, but once they really find out about the cause and what we do it for, it becomes the most amazing thing about it and the most symbolic thing. So I'd say that's the most interesting part of it. So all the money we raise goes to the Embrace Kids Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization right here in New Brunswick, actually. And so they help the non-medical needs of children with cancer and blood disorder. So a cause that's really close to home. And by these non-medical needs, we help with all things that you wouldn't normally think about when someone's sick. We give emergency financial assistance, we give people birthday parties, we give these kids proms and all different things that they can still stay a kid even though they're going through this terrible thing. We are all over the social media. We have a Facebook page, we have a Twitter, we have Instagram now. Um, we also have our website, brand new, um, rudm.org. And even just by talking to students, it's very well known on campus. So it's pretty much everywhere. Mariama, there's so much work that goes into the preparation of Dance Marathon, and I can't imagine doing this without a team of highly cooperative students. Absolutely. Rutgers has so many enthusiastic students who are willing to give up so much of their time just to put this together. Absolutely. But in honor of our Dance Marathon themed episode, we have a special segment on the Embrace the Kids Foundation. That's great, because that's the whole reason why we even have Dance Marathon in the first place. That's right. So let's check it out right now. Embrace Kids Foundation is a nonprofit group that was started 22 years ago and we exist to help families whose kids have cancer and blood disorders. Basically there's a lot of different programs that Embrace Kids offers to the families. We have financial assistance, a lot of times the parents or caregivers have to take time off of work, you know, to be with their child whether they're at the clinic or if they're at the hospital for extended periods of time so they lose that income and it's really hard to pay. You know, they're regular household bills, so we're able to pay for that. We don't pay for medical bills, but you know, we're able to help offset the cost of the medical bills by paying, you know, maybe their mortgage or their utilities for the month. Um, there's so many different types of financial assistance. Full experience, I've gotten real close with Trevor, so Trevor's actually invited me to his house. They invited me to the football game last week and he got to go see and all this stuff. So like, I'm pretty much essentially like, he joined our fraternity, so he's one of my brothers now. So he's like essentially our family. And I hang out with him all the time and I text him every day and play Xbox with him. He, he, him and the other guys are crazy with their nicknames and jokes and handshakes that I've been telling my friends. And uh, they said, wow, it's really cool that you know all these guys. You're very lucky. Embrace to me has just helped us get through this incredibly. They not only help Trevor, but they help the whole family, which makes a huge difference. Um, during a time where everything is just crazy and insane and everything moves so quick, they remind you to take time to enjoy life, to enjoy the good things, and there's a lot of good things that they do. Embrace Kids has always shared a great history with Rutgers, and then 15 years ago, Embrace Kids connected with the Rutgers Greek system and the student organizations that were reforming the dance marathon. It had existed at Rutgers a couple, day, a couple of decades ago and then kind of had a period of time where there was a break and uh, Embrace Kids was brought in because it's a local, grassroots, street level organization that could directly put students 
involved with the patient families and um, Kyle and Trevor are a great example of that. The funds that are raised by Dance Marathon go to support our core services. The things that Embrace Kids does for patient families, for the kids and the families, are provide emergency financial assistance, individualized tutoring so each kid stays up to date with their schoolwork, uh, social services and counseling because the parents tend to be under a lot of stress and they need guidance. So I've been working with Rutgers Dance Marathon actually for the past 15 years and each year I am amazed at how wonderful, how talented, how motivated the students are. And that's not just the dancers, it's all the volunteers, it's the student groups that are part of Are You For Kids. I only have the highest opinion of Rucker students and I just want to say thank you. Rucker students are so involved with the Embrace the Kids Foundation and it's so great to see how these kids have so many role models to look up to. Absolutely and it's so great to just be here and to feel all of the love today. I love it. Alright guys, stay with us because we're going to have more for you after this break. The Division of Administration and Public Safety here at Rutgers University will be teaching classes about first aid, defensive driving, and CPR from now until the end of the year. For more information about these classes and how to sign up, visit rules.rutgers.edu. Miss playing your instrument? Miss being a part of something great? Why not join the Rutgers Marching Band? For over 90 years, the RU Marching Band has been a symbol of tradition, excellence, and school pride. The band has an array of instruments and also plays many different types of music, ranging from traditional music to modern rock and pop. There is no need to audition. Students who have played in their high school band are welcome to join. For more information, please visit band.scarletknights.com. Rutgers University Swing Dancing Club is in full swing for the new semester. Rutgers University Swing Dancing Club focuses on a variety of styles of swing dancing, which include Lindy Pop, West Coast Swing, Blues Dancing, and a few others. The Swing Dancing Club meets every Monday in the NJC Lounge at the Douglas Campus Center. They offer free dancing lessons from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. But after the training is done, they have an all-out social dancing session from 9.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. For the more advanced swing dancers, the Swing Dancing Club has a swing dancing team that meets every Wednesday from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the Livingston Gym. If you have a thing for swing dancing, just go to like swingdancing.rutgers.edu. Do you need a bike for a month, for a semester? Did you know that Rutgers has a bike rental program? Sign up is easy. Just go to their website, bikes.rutgers.edu, and click on the Here button to register. You are going to need your net ID and password ready to sign up. Once you're done, you can come by and pick up your bike at several locations all around campus. With the cost of gas and the amount of traffic, why not rent a bike for $25 a semester or $10 a month? For more information, visit bikes.rutgers.edu. The Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy has three locations for your convenience. Shop for products or take advantage of the services they have to offer. In addition to a friendly staff, the Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy offers a convenient place to fill your prescription, condoms and safer sex products, over-the-counter medications, personal care products, vitamins, supplements, and first aid items, and new this year, exercise accessories. The Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy's main location is in the Hurtado Health Center at 11 Bishop Place on the College Avenue campus. Two other sites are telepharmacies. The Bush Livingston Telepharmacy, located in the lobby of the Bush Livingston Health Center at 110 Hospital Road on Livingston Campus. 
and the Willits Telepharmacy, located in the lobby of the Willits Health Center at 11 Soydem Street on the Douglas campus. Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy and its telepharmacies accept most major insurance plans. And you can pay with cash, credit cards, personal checks, bursar billing, or even RU Express. It takes less than 20 minutes to fill a prescription and the Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy is available to everyone. For more information, please visit rhspharmacy.rutgers.edu or call 732-932-7402-219. This is Mike. Mike is the president of the Stick Figure Advocate Club. He has his first meeting today. Unfortunately, he had some trouble getting the word out about his meeting, so no one showed up. He decided to call RUTV to get help promoting his club. Just one week after Mike called RUTV, they made a commercial for him. He is super excited. Today is Mike's second meeting. He is nervous that no one will show up again. Hey, it seems like calling RUTV really worked. Now Mike has new members. If you want help promoting your club or event, visit our website at rutv.ruckers.edu and just click the Promote Your Organization link. Visit our YouTube page at youtube.com slash rutv or call us at 848 Four four five one nine six six. So the Rutgers Center for Digital Filmmaking is this new program, and we're actually trying to build it into a major. And basically, we offer different types of production style classes for students. So we have um, directing classes, editing classes, animation classes, and it doesn't, the students don't have to have any sort of filmmaking background to be in the program. The Center for Digital Filmmaking provides opportunities to students who are interested in learning how to produce, edit, and share their creative ideas. Students from all majors are welcome. For more information, please visit masongrosses.ruckers.edu slash filmmaking. Thanks for staying with us on this dance marathon themed episode of Inside Rockers. That's right, we're going to get right back into the swing of things by checking out the different aspects that go into making dance marathon. Here's a package I produced myself on Hurricane Productions, which is the entertainment company that keeps the dancers on their feet for a whole 32 hours. I can't wait to see it. Let's check it out right now. Dance Marathon is an annual event held in order to raise money for the Embrace the Kids Foundation. Thousands of students, parents, faculty, and children get together to dance, craft, and much more to work towards a common goal. But who provides all of the entertainment for this event? Who plays the biggest role in keeping people on their feet to have a great time? That's right, it's Hurricane Productions. Hurricane Productions got involved with Dance Marathon in 2008, formerly as the DJ entertainment company of the marathon. At its core, what Hurricane Productions does for Dance Marathon is has always been great music and great entertainment. But I think what a lot of people don't realize is how much we really do on the back end and also on the visual part of the marathon. They do a lot of gra the graphics for the screen, actually all the graphics for the screen. They um, train all the DJs and the MCs and also DJ and MC the marathon themselves. Hurricane Productions provides uh, mostly entertainment, uh, DJ, all the DJ stuff, uh, they train the DJs, they train the MCs, uh, all the visual aspects, the stuff they put on the screen, uh, and recently they started with uh, social media integration. Oh, well, along with training DJs, uh, we also work very closely with the MCs, and they're, they are the voice of Dance Marathon. So when they're on stage, if they're not up there with the right presence, they're not going to gain the attention of people on the dance floor. And that's the best way we find to motivate people. They can connect with someone on stage on the microphone and that revitalizes them. My involvement with Dance Marathon uh, goes back to 2006. I was a freshman who was a volunteer working with my fraternity. I burned a CD with a, with a line dance on it called Blame It on the Boogie. It's a song by Michael Jackson. So as a freshman, I'm running to my dorm, burn the CD on my, on my laptop run back to the marathon, and then hand the CD to the DJ, whoever that was at the time, and said, can you please play this? I'll, I'll do a dance for you. 
So I brought the children up on stage um, and got everybody in the gym to kind of learn this dance, very simplistic line dance, um, and everybody did it, to did it together. Club DM, Club Dance Marathon, engages a part of the population that otherwise wouldn't have experienced any part of Dance Marathon. So, um, you know, Dance Marathon opens their doors to Rutgers students between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m. and it's our job to turn that space into a genuine nightclub. I'm going to play and mix the music that people want to hear without them even knowing that they want to hear it. Uh, I'm going to try to be in people's minds before they know what they want to hear. Um, and I'm also going to play what, what they have to hear. You know, so. We have visuals and a light show and DJs and everything that you would see right now in pop culture of like an EDM concert, but we bring that to you know Dance Marathon. It was really a life changing experience to me, uh, just all of Dance Marathon last year. Not, not just being up for 32 hours, but working with them, working with the other DJs, seeing the kids themselves was, it, it was incredible. I, I, I can't describe it in any other way, but it was incredible. Um, it changed my life forever, and, and I couldn't wait after the marathon was over last year to do it again this year. Hurricane Productions does so much for Dance Marathon as a whole. They're the reason that the dancers are able to stay motivated and on their feet for so long. That's right, and they've been so on point with the music, I must say. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Here's a segment on what the Rutgers community thinks about Dance Marathon. On the weekend of April 6th, for the 15th time, the College Ave Gym filled with hundreds of students who pledged to stand on their feet for 32 hours to raise money for the Embrace Kids Foundation. Let's see what the Rutgers community thinks about this tradition. Um, I have not before, but this upcoming dance marathon will be my first. Well, I'm an assistant director of finance for Dance Marathon this year, and last year I was a morale captain, and next year I'm hoping to be involved in some other way, so... Uh, my favorite part about the event is family hour. That's when we meet all the families that we help out, and the, fam the mothers and the fathers tell stories about how we've helped their kids, and it really just brings together the whole community as one, and you see why we spend so much time raising money and doing what we do. I think it's good in a few ways because, I mean, dancing and activity and the fun that goes along with it is a good stress reliever, especially closer to exams and finals. And it also has the benefit of being in a, uh, an event that actually helps people outside the community. It helps to make us outward focused and do something that isn't just for ourselves. It brings the community together to like raise funds for something everybody wants better. I think it brings a lot of outside interest to the school and shows that they're doing something for a good cause and it's shown in a positive light. <laughs> Probably through better recruitment uh, and stuff like that. I was an RA last semester, uh, or last year, and um, we, you know, talked about it, but we didn't do a huge push. So maybe a greater push through residence life and recreation to get people signed up. Um, I think with all the sororities and fraternities that participate, it gets a lot of interest from that. And with um, events on Facebook, I see people get interested in it. And everyone comes together for a good cause to raise money for, for children. Oh, probably in a lot of different ways. One way would be too monotonous. So I would dance a lot, talk with friends, call people to come and like support me so I wouldn't, you know, sit down and everything like that and give up. Dancing, I would imagine, and spending time with friends, bonding. I like being on my feet, so I'll probably dance most of the time. Probably crash every once in a while, but probably try to get other people to be dancing too. The fact that it goes for a good cause and it's a lot of fun. I really think it's just knowing that the cause that we're working for is so great. Um, when you see the kids and you see them and they see you and they light up and it's, it just makes you want to come back each year.
The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says that only 8% of plastic cups get put in the blue bin. That's not a win-win. Wherever you party, don't forget to recycle. This message has been brought to you by RUTV Weather Watcher. Miss playing your instrument? Miss being a part of something great? Why not join the Rutgers Marching Band? For over 90 years, the RU Marching Band has been a symbol of tradition, excellence, and school pride. The band has an array of instruments and also plays many different types of music, ranging from traditional music to modern rock and pop. There is no need to audition. Students who have played in their high school band are welcome to join. For more information, please visit band.scarletknights.com. Rutgers University Swing Dancing Club is in full swing for the new semester. Rutgers University Swing Dancing Club focuses on a variety of styles of swing dancing, which include Lindy Pop, West Coast Swing, Blues Dancing, and a few others. The Swing Dancing Club meets every Monday in the NJC Lounge at the Douglas Campus Center. They offer free dancing lessons from 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. But after the training is done, they have an all-out social dancing session from 9.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. For the more advanced swing dancers, the Swing Dancing Club has a swing dancing team that meets every Wednesday from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the Livingston Gym. If you have a thing for swing dancing, just go like to swingdancing.rutgers.edu. Are you feeling overwhelmed, stressed out about school, or struggling with substance abuse? Then CAPS is here to help. CAPS is the newly formed Counseling, Alcohol, and Drug Assistant Program and Psychiatric Service offered here at Rutgers University. This health services program is designed to provide a positive and productive university experience. CAPS offers various counseling services, educational and preventative initiatives, training programs, and much more. If you are looking for a place that supports growth of your mind, body, and soul, then CAPS is for you. There are more than 6 million car accidents each year in the United States. About 3,000 people die from choking each year. Most of them are children. More than 1 million people are injured each and every day. The Division of Administration and Public Safety here at Rutgers University provide classes to teach you how to handle these situations. The Division of Administration and Public Safety will be teaching classes about CPR, defensive driving, and first aid from now until the end of the year. For more information about these classes and how to sign up, visit rules.rutgers.edu. We're standing outside of Wynitz Hall here where Robert L. Barchi, the president of Rutgers University, just concluded his press conference where he read off an official statement and read the letter of resignation by former intercollegiate athletic director Tim Pernetti. Tim Pernetti resigned this morning in what Barchi claims to be a mutual agreement between himself and the former athletic director. This is what Barchi had to say during his press conference. Today, Rutgers Athletic Director Tim Pernetti offered me his resignation, and I have accepted it. Tim and I mutually agreed that this is in the best interest of Rutgers. I appreciate the positive things that Tim has done for the university, but I also recognize the gravity of recent developments in regard to the men's basketball program. 
Now, let me begin by saying that this was a failure of process. I regret that I did not ask to see the video when Tim first told me of its existence, because I am certain that this situation would have had a very different outcome had I done so. President Barchi wants to make it clear that Mike Rice, the former head basketball coach of Rutgers, was fired not for cause. He was just fired. And the Board of Governors is still working out and overseeing the incidents. They'll make a determination on which leaders within the Board of Governors and athletic personnel will get to keep their jobs or if further action will be needed. Stay tuned for more information on our station. I'm Anthony Rodriguez reporting from RUTV. There you have it, folks. But stay with us. We'll be right back after this break. This is Mike. Mike is the president of the Stick Figure Advocate Club. He has his first meeting today. Unfortunately, he had some trouble getting the word out about his meeting, so no one showed up. He decided to call RUTV to get help promoting his club. Just one week after Mike called RUTV, they made a commercial for him. He is super excited. Today is Mike's second meeting. He is nervous that no one will show up again. Hey, it seems like calling RUTV really worked. Now Mike has new members. If you want help promoting your club or event, visit our website at rutv.ruckers.edu and just click the Promote Your Organization link. Visit our YouTube page at youtube.com slash RUTV or call us at 848-445-1966. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency says that only 8% of plastic cups get put in the blue bin. That's not a win-win. Wherever you party, don't forget to recycle. This message has been brought to you by RUTV Weather Watcher. The Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy has three locations for your convenience. Shop for products or take advantage of the services they have to offer. In addition to a friendly staff, the Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy offers a convenient place to fill your prescription, condoms and safer sex products, over-the-counter medications, personal care products, vitamins, supplements, and first aid items, and new this year, exercise accessories. The Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy's main location is in the Hurtado Health Center at 11 Bishop Place on the College Avenue campus. Two other sites are telepharmacies. The Bush Livingston Telepharmacy, located in the lobby of the Bush Livingston Health Center at 110 Hospital Road on Livingston campus. And the Willits Telepharmacy, located in the lobby of the Willits Health Center at 11 Soydim Street on the Douglas campus. Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy and its telepharmacies accept most major insurance plans. And you can pay with cash, credit cards, personal checks, bursa billing, or even RU Express. It takes less than 20 minutes to fill a prescription and the Rutgers Health Center Pharmacy is available to everyone. For more information, please visit rhspharmacy.ruckers.edu or call 732-932-7402-219. Do you need a bike for a month, for a semester? Did you know that Rutgers has a bike rental program? Sign up is easy. Just go to their website, bikes.ruckers.edu, and click on the Here button to register. You are going to need your net ID and password ready to sign up. Once you're done, you can come by and pick up your bike at several locations all around campus. With the cost of gas and the amount of traffic, why not rent a bike for $25 a semester or $10 a month? For more information, visit bikes.rutgers.edu. We've had a wonderful time hosting this dance marathon themed episode of Inside Rutgers at the College Avenue Gym. That's right, be sure to check out next year's dance marathon. And to learn more about how to get involved, check out marathon.rutgers.edu. Absolutely, and if you liked our show and have any comments or suggestions for our next show, 
please be sure to email us at rutv underscore inside ruckers at email.ruckers.edu. That's right, and you can check out this episode or any past episode online at rutv.ruckers.edu.